Welcome back to my channel you guys and today we are doing a very light-hearted sketch of the Star Ferry here in Hong Kong. Today is a beautiful day in Hong Kong and even though it's quite warm, it's about 28-29 degrees Celsius, I just really wanted to be in the sun for a little bit. I think I've just been going through a little bit of a funk, more so in my personal life um, rather than anything that has to do with art or work lately and it just feels like I haven't really had the time to rest or be present. I actually haven't decided yet if I'm going to sketch, although if you are seeing this video up on YouTube, it means I did end up sketching something. But I just wanted to take some time today to breathe, be out in the sun. I do have about an hour and a half before I have to go for my workout class, which I kind of was not in the mood to do. But I just thought that moving my body would, like once I'm in it, I know I will end up doing it anyway. And even though I may not be able to perform 100% because I'm physically quite tired, I know that getting my body moving would do something to improve my mood a little bit. So I've just been sitting here admiring the view a little bit. What to sketch is not a priority for me at the moment. I just wanted to remind myself that it's okay to slow down, take a little bit of a break. Just to give you a little bit of a context on where I am, I'm currently at a newly refurbished harbor pier in a district called Wan Chai. So when I look right over there, you'd be able to see Kowloon Pier. And there's not a lot of people out here because it's quite hot today. I do see like the occasional joggers coming in and out of my peripheral vision. It's a nice day to be out, even though I may not be in the best mood, but I am attempting to be grateful for being able to be here. I am telling myself that this is a day. It's not a bad day, it's not a good day either, but it's a day and it's a day that I get to live and it's still a blank slate for me to write out what my day will look like. Well, it's a blank canvas, if you will. Whew. Anyways, let's get on with our day. This is the view that I currently have. So because of my height, there is sort of a fence that is right in front of me that is in the middle of my view. But that's okay. I'm just going to take it in. I mean, I can still see the sea and everything from here and practically nobody's in front of me. It's a huge plus point, I would say. I did a really quick pencil sketch for the Star Ferry off camera. One of the reasons was that this ferry actually departs like every 15 minutes or so. I believe the schedule is every 15 minutes and so they usually stay in the dock for maybe about like 2-3 minutes at a time. So when I saw that the ferry was there, I jumped at my chance, I just grabbed my pencil. I just tried to pencil everything I see in. When the ferry was still there, I tried to start coloring in the greens first and when you see me shifting towards the sea, that's mainly because the ferry has moved on and is sailing towards the other side and so I have to do the other elements first. So in this case, Case, I started with the water and then I worked my way up a little bit slowly from the dock to the above stores and all the infrastructure that's behind it. And one of the reasons why I'm trying to focus on making the background dark is because the top of the ferry is actually white. So I do need to emphasize that by trying to make the surrounding areas a bit dark. And I realized that this ferry is also largely in shadow, which means that all the colors are cooler and darker than they originally are so here I am just trying to layer everything in and also trying to cover up the whites of the ferry a little bit because although the top part is catching the sunlight but the side part of the ferry the side plane is in shadow so they do have to be a little bit cooler and a little bit darker just by a little bit not too much
Throughout the video, you can see how quickly the light changes from time to time by how harsh the shadow of my camera is on the sketchbook paper. So I am using an Insta360 Go To camera, which is already relatively small, so it doesn't block that much of the sunlight on the sketchbook. But yeah, you can see how sometimes the light is super harsh, and then sometimes it's very, very, very soft. So these are the kind of plan air situations that I am slowly growing accustomed to. It's not that bad, honestly because it just looks really crazy because this is time-lapse but when you're there you do have say maybe like three or four minutes at any given time to work with any given light conditions and you just learn to roll with the punches and you and when you do this often enough your eyes learn to just like average out the values for some reason and you learn in which areas the light stays relatively the same for example in the shadows the lights will stay relatively the same so when there is some dramatic light that you want in which the Sun is shining for like a few seconds then you immediately jump to that and then after the sun's gone then you go back to working on the shadows so these are just little hacks that you kind of pick up along the way in order to get that sketch in the way you want it to look For the other details of the fairy, such as the windows for example, I decided that I would just color everything in black and then I would etch in the white sills in between with white gouache. And that's sort of a similar approach I take with everything else on the fairy. If it's going to be too much trouble for me to um, do individual dots on like the windows and other such things, I would usually take the opposite direction. I mean, the great thing with gouache is that it gives you the option to layer back on top so you're not sort of confined to that it needs to be a light to dark way of working and instead you can also work other ways. There's a lot of fun details that can be added into the Star Fairy. For example, the gold trim that sort of is um, existing below, just below where the fairy touches the water. And the text on the side, which I try to allude to by just putting in some vertical strokes because that's sort of a, um, a shortcut, if you will, on how to put in some text or some Roman alphabet at the very least is if you put vertical strokes down, it kind of just looks like um, Roman alphabetical text. And I know it's not gold, but it's uh, is as close as I can get. So this is with yellow ochre and white gouache and I think it does a pretty good job. Other details that I see on the ferry are the floating tires that are on top and the antenna looking or sail looking things, the white stuff on the top. So because I did the background dark enough, when I came in with that white gouache at the top, it actually came through quite well. And now I'm just putting in the last minute details such as the steam that is coming out of the star ferry and we're almost good to go because this already represents itself as a star fairy and I don't think I need to take this any further for just a quick sketch. I am glad that we did our sketch today. Oh, actually you can see it in the background right there. It has been nice to sort of take my time, kind of slow down a little bit and then sketch. I do feel a lot better. I think it was nice to put my brush down on paper. And even though I know, I know for sure that that was not a sketch that is worth selling or anything, but I know that it was nourishing for myself. And I think that's sort of what I wanted to do more with art and also why I got into art in the first place is because I wanted to have an outlet, a self-expression and also just to unleash some energy that I could put down on paper, close the book and then move on with my day. It's not a technical drawing but I do hope that by any chance you haven't acquired the skill to draw something that you wanted to do. I hope you guys do it anyway and hope you find it fulfilling in some way because when you do let yourself be and just do it does wonders for the soul. Anyways it was good to see you guys again. Hope you guys take care. Happy sketching or happy not sketching. Hope you guys have a pocket of time in the day for you to just be. I'll catch you the next time guys. Take care. Bye.